it is time for a new subscription box. So I got this delivered to me probably over a week ago, two weeks ago, but I've been out of town for about the past week in beautiful Las Vegas. So I got back. So I'm actually trying to catch up on some of my subscription boxes that I received during that time when I was gone. This is one of them. It is the BAM Box Pop Culture Box. And this month is supposed to have a guaranteed autographed Funko Pop. So that's enticing for anybody. If you're a collector of Funko Pops, or like me, I collect autographed memorabilia and collectibles, which includes signed Funko Pops. So I'm excited to see what I have in here. Let's do this. The Bam Box, monthly price. I looked it up before I started this video. The price every month is $26.99 plus $7.99 in shipping for a grand total of $34.98 a month. We'll just round up two whole pennies. So this is $35 a month shipped to your door. I've done the Bam Box now, the Pop Culture Box and the Horror Bam Box for maybe three months now. And the months that didn't have Funko Pops in them, it was usually the value just wasn't really that fantastic in my personal opinion. But whenever they put in the pops in these, it just increases the value. I'm excited to see which one I got. I've heard, I haven't seen any spoilers yet. I haven't searched any YouTube videos, but on some of my Facebook groups that I'm in, like non-spoilers, they said you can get a possibility of like two different pops, I think it was, or maybe three. But there's different ones that you can get outside though. So, which one did I get? That's the question. I'm not sure what is also going to be in this box this time. Let's try to keep it a mystery for myself and for the viewers. Here on top, black, like packing paper, more paper, nothing inside. Okay, I can feel the pop. Let's save that for last. Let's see. What is this? That's neat. That's actually kind of cool. Jurassic Park Visitor Pass. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. It's nothing really that expensive or glamorous, but it's kind of cool. I can wear this around my neck wherever I go. I can go to Walmart tonight walk in and try to act like I'm somebody special. Or I could just hang this from something in my office or upstairs in the sneaker room and display it. That's actually, that's really neat, I think. It's it's nothing expensive, it's nothing, you know, valuable. It's just, I love Jurassic Park. The original, you know, movies and now the redone with Jurassic World, I think are also fantastic. Great, it, it's been a great series, so that's kind of cool. Let's see, monthly pin. Who we get? I think it's upside down. Who do we get? The back says Shazam. And it is Shazam. I have not seen the new movie yet. Um, I'm kind of waiting for it to come out to uh, get on like digital, then I'll get it like whenever it's on sale. I do want to see it, but I don't want to see it better than actually see it in theaters and pay the high theater prices, you know, ticket. Your boy's got to get popcorn every time he goes. But Shazam, designed by Tom Ryan Studios. I'm not sure what's in his mouth. Is that like he's blowing a bubblegum bubble or something? Or does he have like a ball stuck in his mouth? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not like a Shazam fan or anything. The Who is the original Captain Marvel is Shazam. He was the original one. But the name had to change due to copyrights and trademarks, and it is a whole mess. So I feel the Funko Pop, and on bottom of the Funko Pop, there's looks like an art print. Let me try to get out the art print without seeing the Funko Pop. Keep it a mystery. Keep it a mystery. Put it back in. Okay, I've not seen it. So this bottom sheet is probably going to be spoilers. Put that down. So here we go. Pop culture, fan art, what we get? 
Oh, cool. Thanos. Oh, that's some, actually some really cool art right there. I like that. Oh, I like that. That's going up with my on my wall upstairs in the sneaker room. This is number 546 out of 2,500 made. I'm sure this will probably had a variant to it. Most of the pictures do have, have, have a variant. So it's usually just kind of the background color change or something like that. But no, that is that is ultra cool. I like that. Huge Thanos fan. That's neat. So that leaves us now with one thing left in the spoiler sheet. So that's just all that's in this box so far has been the visitor pass, a pin, and artwork. But of course, the price of the Funko Pop, you know, just a common pop's 10 bucks. Get an autographed. Um, all your values is actually in the Funko Pop in this box. What did I get? It is in a protector case, so that's nice, so it shouldn't be damaged. Let me try to find the back side of the case. Okay, that's that's the back side. Okay, you ready? Who did I get? Which Funko Pop? Who signed the Funko Pop, I should say. You ready? Okay, the back says Looney Tunes. Bugs Bunny Opera. Huh. I guess this must be probably whoever does the voice of Bugs Bunny, I'm guessing. That's kind of cool. The top of it has the authentication card, just like the last one that we got out, like last month. It says, Pop, Bama Pop Culture, Certificate of Authenticity. This Funko Pop has been hand-signed by Eric Baza, Buza, who has voiced numerous characters. It was signed during a private signing for the BAM Pop Culture Box. It's guaranteed to be authentic. Authentication number A19011. So, Eric Baza or Buza, Boaza, I guess it must be a voice of Bugs Bunny at some point. So, let's actually, I got my, my computer next to me. Let me look this guy up. So I'm on the ever famous Wikipedia, who's only like 50% accurate most of the time. Because anybody can update this whatever they want. So Eric Adrian Baza was born in 79. He is the voice actor, animation artist, and comedian. His major roles include Lord Stingray in Super Jail, Flip Champion in Ball Masters 9009, White Panther on Nickelodeon's El Tigre, Storm Shadow, Destro, and Tunnel Rat on G.I. Joe Resolute. Rezoff was Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc, the, the Professor and Peepo Monkeys in Ape Escape, and Lord Takagami in Dick Figures the Movie. He is the current voice of Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Marvin the Martian, Pepe Le Pew, and Woody Woodpecker. So cool. So he is the current voice of pretty much all of the characters of Looney Tunes, I think. Or a good chunk of them. A very good chunk of them. That's actually ultra cool. So I will be keeping this, adding this into my Funko Pop collection. Because, I mean, I'm obviously, you know, grown up physically. Mentally, you know, I'll always be a kid in here and here. You can't help that. Guys never really grow up. So when I was a child, I loved the Looney Tunes like we all did. So I think this is cool to have the voice actor who's doing the current voices of over half of the Looney Tunes assign Funko Pop. So that's cool. I like that. It's not what really what I wasn't sure what to expect because they gave no spoilers, no hints of who you could get. But I'm excited about this one. I like this. So I got all this for only $35 shipped out the door. Let's see the spoiler sheet. Okay, so band box exclusive, five fan art prints. You had, yeah, so you had three different, it says five, there's, only, there's pictures for three different pins that you could get. Visitor pass, yes, but if the Pirates of Caribbean breaks down the Pirates, I'm going to eat tourists, blah, blah, blah. So it's just, there's no variation, it's just that's the Jurassic Park one. The band box exclusive print. Two variation, a variation to 500, just the background was, was what I fear was different. I actually like the variation of mine better than the, uh, than the very, the more produced one, I should say. Yeah. And finally, for the Funko Pops, it says, Bam Box, Funko Signing with Eric Baza, Booza, Boiza. Hey, what's up, Doc? Introducing Eric Boza, the man who, the man of many voices. 
most will get either Bugs Bunny or Woody Woodpecker, but I guess they're all signed by the same person, but some will get a Chrome Iron Spire numbered out of 99. Who signed that one then? This, this guy? There's nothing on here about him being a voice of Iron Spider or anything. So that's kind of weird. And watch out for the Woody Woodpecker Chase variants randomly searched. So you could get, looks like you get this Bugs, the Woody Woodpecker, the Woody Woodpecker Chase or Iron Spider, and I guess all signed by the same Eric guy, but I don't know what Eric had to do with Iron Spider though. I don't see anything about what he had to do with it. Or who it was signed by. I'm curious of who actually signed it now. My thoughts on it? I think this 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 was good. I think just the Funko Pop alone was worth every dime of the entire price of the box. I mean, this was the value. This was it. And it's a cool pop signed by a voice actor who does a famous voice, it looks like. I think I read online already that they're going to do another signed pop next month. I'm not sure if it's pop culture or horror, but I think I read that they're doing another signed Funko Pop in the band box next time. I will definitely be keeping my subscription going because as long as they keep doing stuff like this, it's worth the money. It's worth the money every single time. So I'll see you next time. Band box, pop culture box. This is actually April's box. I just saw the spoiler sheet. I looked down before I said, I'll see you next time. This is actually April's box. Oh. But I got it at the end of May, though. I don't know. I'll see you next time. With the May or June box, whichever, however they're going to say it, I don't know. I'm out.